Today we're going to learn about the purple tang and what you need to know if you want to keep one. What's up YouTube, John here. Thank you for joining Blue Carbon Reefing. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite fish for a reef tank or a fish only system, which is of course the purple tang. So like my other fish spotlights, I'm going to try to give you some interesting facts, some of the scientific stuff, and then my personal experience with keeping them in the hobby. This fish spotlight is going to cover just the purple tang itself, but some of the other members of the Zebrasoma family would be the yellow tang, the scopus tang, the sailfin tang, the gem tang, the black tang. There's quite a few in the reef hobby, so um, that's why I'm just going to be covering this one today. So the scientific name for the purple tang is Zebrasoma xanthorum. Now for me this is one of the fish that was part of the pinnacle uh, of fish that I wanted to keep someday. Um, the price obviously on these fish were, were quite high back in the day. Uh, they've come down but I believe that is for a few reasons. Uh, one, the coloration of the fish is absolutely beautiful. It has a purple body with black spots and linear lines all over it with a bright yellow tail. Um, it was originally known to only come from the Red Sea. Um, which is very, very far it needs to travel in order to come over to the States. Um, now it is also known to be in the Arabian Sea, the Gulf of Aden, and some of the waters off of Sri Lanka. So I think that has also helped with some of the price point coming down a little bit on these fish. Back in the day they used to cost anywhere from $150 to you know three to $500 depending on the size of the fish. Now you can see them going maybe as little as $80 to you know $200 again depending on the size of the fish. Now as far as keeping these fish they're gonna fit very well in all of your you know reef uh, parameters anywhere from a temperature range of 72 degrees to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, a DKH or alkalinity of 8 to 12, a pH of 8.1, let's say 8.0 to 8.4 and a specific gravity of 1.020 to 1.026. Now in the wild, these fish can grow up to about 10 inches. I have never seen one in captivity that large. Uh, normally, six, seven inches maybe is the most I've ever seen. Uh, one interesting fact is these fish will live a long time. Uh, in captivity, they will definitely live longer than out in the wild, but they've been known to live for 30 to 45 years. Um, I would say as far as a tank size, as you can see, these fish are extremely active. They swim around all day long. Uh, I would consider them a utilitarian fish, so they're going to help keep your rocks clean. They're going to be picking and grazing all day long. However, uh, because they swim and they're moving around so much, I would recommend at least a six foot tank uh, or at least 125 gallons you know, to keep them. Obviously, you can keep them in a little bit smaller of a tank. You know, from the start, uh, if you have plans to upgrade or rehome them at a later time, uh, but definitely one of those fish that needs a lot of room to swim around and some rocks and other things to be able to hide and graze on, uh, which is their natural habitat and their natural, you know, activity all day long. Now as far as temperament is considered, I would definitely consider this fish on the higher end of the aggression scale, uh, where it would be semi to uh, highly aggressive. I will say you can definitely keep them in uh, a reef tank or a fish only tank with multiple tangs, uh, but it will mainly be aggressive towards the same family. So the zebrasoma, the yellow, the scopus, the sailfin, you know, all of those types of fish. As you can see here, as this fish is eating and picking off of this algae clip, um, it is very possessive. It is shooing away, you know, the scopus tang right there, trying to make sure that it doesn't, uh, you know, get in there and, and get its fair share of food. So a couple things you can do. You can obviously use multiple algae clips where, you know, the fish have a little bit of an opportunity to you know, pick from a different area. Uh, I have seen the fish go back and forth from each LG clip and do the same thing. So it can help, it's not a solve all, but uh, you know, what I would say is you can obviously successfully integrate them into the system, but my opinion, I would add them towards the end, one of the last fish that you're gonna put in, uh, or you know, try to get a small one that is smaller than some of the other fish or the other zebrasomas that you have in the tank. 
Now as far as diet is concerned, these fish are considered an herbivore. They should be fed some kind of an algae product at least a few times a week. As you can see here, I'm feeding a red nori. I do do the green sometimes, uh, and I do this at least a few times a week. Uh, they are very easy to convert in captivity because they are uh, able to eat other things as well as some of your frozen meaty foods, uh, pellets, uh, just about anything that you would offer them, uh, eventually they will go for and eat. Now I'm going to touch on this briefly because I do recommend that these fish should be quarantined. Uh, they, like other fish or other tangs, uh, do not have a thick slime coat so they are very susceptible to external parasites like ick, marine velvet, flukes. So pretty easy to spot on this fish because it's a darker body. You can see the white spots very easily on them, but I would recommend quarantining them, observing them, treating them, you know, for 30 to 60 days. So that's it guys. Hopefully you have learned something today about the purple tang. Uh, I have done a number of these fish spotlights now, so I have created a playlist on my channel. Uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, check out some of my other videos. If you like what you see, uh, I would consider subscribing. I highly suggest that you do. Uh, if there are any other fish spotlight videos that you'd like me to come out with, uh, the easiest way for me to do this right now are some of the fish that I already have in the tank as far as filming them, uh, but I would be happy to do some of these others. Just leave a comment below. Uh, thank you guys so much again for watching. We will catch you on the next one. Happy reefing!